right, welcome back guys. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna go over really quick here is I wanna give you guys a really quick tip at the beginning of this and kind of explain what I'm doing before I start because this is gonna be a move and groove thing. I don't have very much time. Um, I don't normally get to fish this late into the season open water. Um, usually I'm starting to get everything ready for ice fishing, which I'm still doing that. If you guys wanna follow along, I have my vlog channel uh, and I have my clips channel and all the other stuff. Um, those will be linked down below. But the one thing I'm gonna do today is, so the water's cold, water started getting cold. The sun's already going down, it's like three o'clock. I only have like two and a half hours. What I did today is I waited till the end of the day. And the reason I did that is I'm gonna fish the shoreline that had the sun on it the whole day. So there's gonna be rocks and mud and sand that hold heat. That's where a lot of fish are gonna congregate during the day. Uh, early mornings, a lot of times they're still out deep um, or not really feeding that heavy. But needless to say, I'm... I got people dive bombing me with freaking drones out here. <laughs> um, anyways, so the big thing here, like I was saying, is I'm gonna be fishing up tight to the shorelines. Uh, hopefully the thumbnail it's a nice big juicy fish. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for northern pike and bass. Uh, hopefully the bass are putting on some weight and hopefully I can find a northern pike to eat. I might even do a catch and cook with a northern pike, so stay tuned. Okay, for the northern pike and the bigger bass, I'm gonna see if I can slow roll this spinner. Big thing this time of year is everything's gotta move a little bit slower. I mean, they'll still hit fast stuff, but uh, I'm gonna try and slow roll this thing over some shallow, shallow stuff. Just like the springtime, I'm gonna throw this on my cranking rod. This little lure has caught fish all year. Uh, it's a man's baby minus one. It works really good in shallow water. This lake's really shallow, so two, three feet of water works perfectly. Can't forget the net. fish just out here on this flat kind of feels like a northern pike yep these guys are always willing to play in the fall so shouldn't be hard catching a bunch of these also forgot to get my pliers out okay like i said i'm just throwing this Man's baby minus one. I'll link everything in the description. You guys can pick up your own stuff. It's all available. Anything you guys pick up from the channel helps out. So we're gonna try to get some more bigger fish here now. Uh, if I catch like hundreds of little snakes, I won't leave them in, but basically big flat, just kind of fan casting. There's no rhyme or reason to <laughs> where they're gonna be sitting right now because all the weeds are basically dead. So the idea here is you're getting fish that are just cruising around looking for bait to eat before winter. So it's a fun time of year to fish. There's one. <clears throat> I 
the bite and really light. Little skinny guy. Okay. Hopefully I find some a little thicker than that guy. <laughs> Going in the wrong direction, they're all skinny. Should be thick right now because they should in theory be feeding up heavy for the fall or for the winter. Those of you guys that don't live in Wisconsin and watch my videos, thank you. But uh, so in our during our winters we get ice on our lakes and uh, the fish metabolisms will slow down midwinter. So what they do is they feed up really hard right before the ice comes. Kind of get get a gorge in before it gets too cold and they're not really chasing stuff around too much. They still feed all winter long, but uh, not as much as they do right in the fall. Oh, I did get him. That's a bigger northern pike. He's got my bait down his throat, too. <clears throat> Going to have to retire after this guy. <laughs> That guy downed it. I thought I lost him at first. He's a healthier looking fish. You're okay. Go on. There you go. <laughs> Stunned him a little bit, but they're getting bigger. That's a good thing. Thumbs up for the upsize. <laughs> yep. I got 20 pound P line on here saved me from getting bit off, but still need to retie. And a lot of people will ask me why I don't run a steel leader. It kills the action of these baits, so you can't you can't actually run one. Okay, I'm gonna throw the big guy for a little while here. Hopefully, we can find something. They are not playing nice today. I've worked for probably an hour and a half here. This one shoreline, wind blown, warmest water, just nothing around. Almost got hit by like three or four golf balls <laughs> and dive bombed by a drone. So far an eventful day. Okay, so I switched sides of the lake um, because nothing happened over on the other side. I don't know if you guys already heard this, but uh, just double double going over my messages just so you guys understand. I think I did uh, two hours over there, and I actually fished the big spinner for about an hour there, up and down this shoreline which is normally loaded with pike. So they might actually be out off of the, the main lead line, which is gigantic and quite hard to pinpoint them on. So hopefully we don't have to do that one. <sighs> but uh, yeah, if I don't get anything here in a minute, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run over to the spot where there's a bunch of random deep holes and a uh, little bit easier to pick apart weed lines because if they're on the deeper weed lines, I don't want to be fishing two miles of weed line, try and find one fish. So <laughs> hopefully the next thing you guys see is me catching one of those monsters that hide out in those weed holes.
fish right next to the boat. Right next to a weed clump. Good one too. Got him. <laughs> I gotta tighten my drag. And <laughs> barely got the hook in this guy. But he's a healthy one. That took about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> I thought I was going to go crazy for a second there. Okay, that's one. I wasn't sure if this is too big or what. The way he hit it, he came up and just slurped it. So I might have to slow things down a little bit. But that's one big bass, or decent bass, and then three northern pike. So we're not doing too bad, considering it's November. <laughs> I think I landed on that guy. I was spacing out. That feels like a big fish. I think he's in some weeds though. What are you? Oh, Northern Pike. Another retie. <laughs> Getting healthier. Getting meatier. Okay. Fresh retie. Good line above it. Let's see if we can do that a couple more times before I gotta go. Fish on. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Stay down. Ooh. That might be a good bass. Yep. Come here. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for today. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that's the one I was looking for nice fat this is a 16 and a half but it's fat so nice and thick nice and healthy I like to see this right now this is why I fish in the fall these guys are getting chunky beating up hit that Kai tech on the trip or the Kai tech trailer on my twin blade and uh yeah that was still fun I'm gonna get this guy back real quick try to get another one That'll put a grin on your face. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm by those little, there's like little holes all over the place out here. And all I'm doing is casting out across them. And basically it's the same thing you would do if you're fishing like a different body of water or whatever. Um, if you're casting out, you bring it across the weed line. So weed line here, you bring it across the top of it, let it drop down. That's all I did, cast across. Gave it a little, I paused it. So I'm running a really heavy uh, spinner for how shallow it is. It's like a quarter ounce or something like that. Um, but what I what I do is I just, I'm just cranking, 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 pause, cranking, 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 pause. And I'm envisioning the weed line coming up. So crank, crank, pause, let it come down the weed line, crank, crank, you know. So you're kind of swimming it back like this. Um, and they almost always tend to hit it when it's dropping. So be ready, pause. That's, I mean, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the camera, but I paused and he, he snapped it. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple more of those. Apparently there's some back in this little uh, cut. 
and uh, yeah, I'd like to get some big ones, northern pike or bass. I'm happy either way. It's still open water in November, so gotta take advantage of it. That was a big fish. I don't know if you guys seen that. I'm gonna try and replay it, but that was a monster. I don't know if that was a bass or a northern pike. Either way, it was really fat. Try to get him to come back for it. Tucked away in that weed patch. Oh no! was a keeper. There's one. That might be big enough to keep. Oh. Just, just short and fat. I don't know if he's, they gotta be 26 to keep. Okay, it's actually 27. So, I'm gonna set him in here for a second. Okay, so a lot has actually happened since uh, I caught that largemouth bass, and then uh, between then and that pike, as you guys can see, I threw a steel leader on. I have a really light uh, black wire steel leader. It's a decent one. Um, but yeah, now I'm down to one of these spinners because I had a really big northern pike basically eat the whole thing. And uh, yeah, that wasn't gonna work out. This is a 30 pound braid, but that's, uh, I think that's a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. So not, not much of a match for giant Northern Pike teeth, but I am gonna keep the one that I just caught. He's in the live well right now. Um, I will probably throw him back if I only have the one, but if I can get another one over 26 inches, I'm gonna keep them and then I'm probably gonna do a pickle pike video. So comment below if you guys wanna see the pickle pike or if you wanna see how I clean northern pike or whatever, um, I'll just make a video about it, but we'll see. YouTube's kinda of funny about that stuff, so we'll see how it goes. But yep, I'm gonna try to get one more because you can keep two over 26 out here. Well, that was definitely a fish. Got that one. Feels like a good one. Oh, yep, it is. Might be my second one. Yep, it's number two. 
<laughs> All on that Apex Elite today. Okay, so that's my two. Uh, so out, out here, I think I already told you, um, you can keep two over 26. Um, I did get a couple today, I, I believe are already over 26, but these guys are the healthier ones. You want a good meaty fish um, if you're gonna flay them because what I like to do, and I think I'm gonna do a video separately on the cooking channel um, because YouTube does this weird thing. Like if I, if I clean these guys and they're all bloody and it's all messed up, um, they'll one, either flag it, demonetize it, or they'll uh, channel strike you, which I don't want any of that stuff. I worked very hard for the last seven years to make sure this stuff doesn't get deleted. Um, and it sucks because I have to like sugarcoat certain things and whatnot. You guys know the deal. Um, but what I can do is I'm gonna bleed them out. When they're all bled out, I'm gonna let them get chilled, just so you guys know if you wanna do this. Um, you can do two things. You could put them in a cooler, throw ice on them, or I'm gonna put them in the bottom of one of my fridges. Um, it gets really cold. I have a broken fridge, and the bottom of the fridge actually gets just above freezing, so it works out. Uh, stiffen them up real good. And then I'm gonna go over the the five, I think it's the five fillet method. You do the back strap, you do the sides, and then you do um, the, like the tail or whatever. Uh, the back half of them ends up as like, a, there's like a bone strip. And like I said, I'll go over this whole thing in that video because I'm gonna do a whole like how to clean them and uh, turn them into um, for pickled pike. Um, one thing, if you guys are ever gonna pickle fish, you have to freeze it for like seven, Seven to 10 days, I think is minimum. I just do like two weeks easy. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly when you'd see the pickled pike video. That's why I'm kind of put that on my cooking channel. If you guys haven't seen that, all of my channels are linked in the bottom of my uh, description and stuff like that. Or actually the best thing is if you just go to the home page, they're linked down below. Uh, right now, I think I have four, five. I have clips, my vlog channel, which is DWS Dave, and then my cooks everything. So then this is DWS Outdoors. If you guys want to you can subscribe to all of them you don't have to i'm not begging you guys but yeah i'm gonna throw the pickled fish one on on that on there and then i'm gonna probably do some how i like to make my northern pike uh, a couple different ways so stay tuned for those videos remember to hit that notification bell turn it all on all right what else can i say but fall fishing's fun when you're fishing for northern pike so hope you guys get out there and i'll see you guys next time